This video is to introduce the various settings of Madrina syringe pump, model name Unifusion SP50 Pro. This is the home page. There are six boxes on the screen, modes, settings, general, patient, records, and system. In last video, we have introduced modes. Next, let's look at other boxes one by one. Settings. We could set drug library, KVO rate, bolus rate, syringe brands, DPS, occlusion pressure, pressure unit, pump idle alert, finish pre-alarm, micro mode, reset total volume, total 11 items under settings. First, drug library. The drug information can be found in commonly used and others. To edit drug library, select drug library maintenance. Enter password 3312. Here we could rename drug groups. For example, rename others as ICU. Now the name of the drug group is changed. To edit individual drug, select the drug group, then select the drug. We could edit the drug name concentration unit, common concentration, and other information listed here. Last, save the entity information. Next is KVO rate. We could set the rate from 0.1 to 5 ml per hour. Bolus rate. For different syringe sizes, the max bolus rate is different. For 50 ml syringe size that we are using now, the max bolus rate is 1500 ml per hour. Syringe brands. We can select the brands of syringe under using. And after selection, the syringe brands will be shown on the title bar. We can store up to 20 syringe brands in the system. DPS, dynamic pressure system. That means when occlusion happens or is about to happen, and when there is a sudden drop in pressure, the pump prompt alarms. Let's check it now. Turn to the page of infusion modes. Rate mode. Now we start the infusion. We can see the dynamic pressure status from the pressure bar on the screen. Now we press. Now we press the extension line to simulate occlusion. We can see the pressure keeps increasing. Now the pump prompts a crucial pre-alarm. Now I release the present. There is a drop in pressure and the pump prompt alarm too. This is how DPS function works. Next, a crucial pressure. This model has 12 occlusion pressure levels. 
from 75 millimeter of mercury to 900 millimeter of mercury. We can select which level to trigger the alarm. Besides, occlusion pressure levels can be customized. Pressure units. There are four different pressure units for choosing. Pump idle alert. There are six different intervals for choosing. When the pump is not operated for a certain period of time, it prompt alert to remind the user. Finish pre-alarm. Choose the time that the pump gives alarm before the infusion is about to finish. Micro mode. The purpose of a micro mode is to increase infusion safety by setting the limit of max flow rate using more often in neonate and pediatrics. We can select it on or off. When selecting on, set the max flow rate. For example, 1000. By setting this number, the flow rate under all, all eight infusion modes is not allowed to exceed 1000 ml per hour. Reset total volume. By selecting yes, the data of infused volume will be cleared. Now we finish the introduction of settings. Next, let's take a look at general. First item, date and time. Set the correct date, time, and your preferred format here. Second, brightness. There are 10 brightness levels. Third, sound. There are also 10 levels of sound volume for choosing. Scream lock. Choose how long you would like to lock the scream from 15 seconds to 30 minutes. This is to avoid an intentional and improper pro operation. Night mode. Choose it on or off. When it is on, select the brightness and the time for the night mode. Nurse call and nurse call alarm level. We could choose nurse call on when this function is needed. For nurse call alarm level, there are three alarm levels for choosing. The nurse item network. This is for setting the connection between the pump and other pumps, docking station, and infusion management system. We have detailed instruction about network connection. Please contact with us if required. Now we have finished introduction of general. Next, let's talk, look at patient. In these pages, we can edit the basic information about the patient. Next is records. History entries. The pump can store more than 5,000 records of previous operation data, showing time, date, infusion parameters, and operation details. The data is first in, first out. Last, therapies. The pump can store 20 records of last therapies. Choose either one. It 
jumps into the screen of infusion mode with all infusion parameters ready. Start infusion. This can save time for the users if they just need to apply the same infusion as previous infusion did. Export history records. The history records can be exported to computer by using an USB cable. Clear all records. Enter password 3312. All data of history entries and last therapies will be cleared. The last one is system. First, languages. There are eight languages in the display. But we have more than 12 languages available. Please check with us whether your language, language is available. Factory default. This item is rarely used by end users. Leave it to the service engineer when repair is needed. Version. Here it shows the serial number, the software version, and the device version of the pump. Maintenance Enter password 3312 There are different settings under this item. First, brand maintenance. We could add delete calibrates syringe brands. We will explain how to add a new syringe brand and calibrate it in next video. Second, sensor information. Here, we could find the current settings of different sensors and modules. Sensor calibration, memory information. Leave them to the service engineer when repair is needed. Brand select reminder. By selecting it on, the poem will ask user to select the syringe brands after the syringe is well loaded. The last two are maintenance period and last maintenance date, where we can find the maintenance information of this pump. Now, we have finished the introduction of various settings of Madrina syringe pump.